Hi there, everyone, and this is your January 2021 Love Monthly Forecast reading with me, Chrissy from In the Stars by Chrissy.com. First and fo- foremost, I want to greet you guys a happy, happy, happy new year. And it is my hope, wish, and desire that you have this year of 2021 be your best year ever filled with much love happiness and great joy much better than how it was last year of course now to celebrate this um starting this year of 2021 for the month of january i am doing a very um highly detailed and in-depth reading for each and every every signs out there basically wherein i am doing a combination of the tarot uh, to give us more of uh, flavor and you know give us give us a more detailed storyline on what might be the energies that could be unfolding for each and every signs out there so just to give us a more uh, a lot more detail a lot more insights and confirmation throughout the reading and I'm also going to be adding in later at the end of the video uh, so a combination and housing system of the Lenormand cards all at the same time so you know we get the most uh, information out of the readings for this month of January 2021 as I believe that every January it gives us a flavor on the important themes that might be occurring for us that sets the tone for the rest of the year so um if you are interested to know more on what might be manifesting, what could be happening for the month that could that could re- really wrap things up for you for the entire year, then please continue watching and don't forget to hit that like, share, and subscribe button as that will really help me greatly and it's very much appreciated your support to the, this channel for me to continue making videos like this for you guys in the future all at the same time so don't forget to tune in with me for the rest of the video to know more so um yeah without any further ado let's just get started okay so um this reading is for those of you who are in the sign of gemini sun moon and rising sign please do know that before we begin that this is still a general reading so it might be very detailed very in-depth but still it is a general reading so please take note um on that and use your own intuition as a main guidance to see how this is really resonating with you or not So it's not going to be for everyone, but um, take everything with a grain of salt. So that's really my biggest advice when doing um, free readings like this one. So anyway, let us begin with, uh, for you, Gemini, we are seeing here that you have here this star card as your first card of the deck and followed by the seven of cups. Now, this is an element wherein you could be in a situation wherein you could be... um, there's an element of confusion here and I'm not even sure if you will acknowledge yourself as being confused. Uh, this could be a situation wherein you might not be thinking in the right manner of things. You know, you're not being very practical right now or maybe you're either too optimistic with th- certain things or you might be too pessimistic. That is really the element here. Like you might be, you know, having... A lot of thoughts, a lot of plans in life. Uh, However, you cannot really, you know, really pinpoint on what what action you should be taking. Or you might be tackling a lot of things. Like maybe you are at the verge of you want to do a lot, a lot of things with a lot of topics. And you are unable to pinpoint on what you should be focusing right now. And in terms of love and relationships, this could also be a situation wherein you might be thinking of a lot of possibilities, you know, whether you are a single or in a relationship, you know, you might be jumping into conclusions, uh, thinking of various things that might not be uh real or true you know it's not really within facts you might be concluding something in a very positive way or in a very negative way only you would know um 
this is especially true because we have here the the issue involved here and we have here the nine of wands along with the three of wands so this is really giving me an energy wherein you know you might be um undecided about something you know you might be you might be hearing or you are the person who is telling uh telling the information of something that is not exactly true or you know maybe you're just going by with your feelings it, this is being crossed over by uh the five of wands which tells us that you know there could be some form of communication issues that is happening in the surface because of some form of um um truth that might have been distorted so again like i said earlier this could be a situation wherein you might be triggering yourself or it could be something intentional something that's uh not intentional of course or um this could be you know just a main issue that is surrounding your relationships whether it's through your friends or your personal relationships uh, there is some form of factor here wherein there could be some form of confusion happening in those areas of your life. And it might be happening in a very uh, forceful way as a possibility. So uh, I would not, uh, for me, I would say that, you know, when you are encountering this type of energies, it is best to not... Um, do not make the situation worse and try to reflect on whether you are really making the right decisions or not, you know, not getting ahead of yourself because uh, whether you know the truth or not, we, we are still going to take a look on the following cards. But I just want to say that, you know, uh, these few cards is telling us that there is something that is not exactly true into the situation and you might be getting ahead of yourself. So just uh, take that. Um, don't take uh, everything that you hear um, very personally. So you need to still try to look for the facts and the truth of the situation. Now the next card we have over here is the Empress card and the Eight of Wands. So this is something that probably has occurred in the recent past you could be you could have some form of contact with someone in particular it could be with a woman or this could also be a situation where in some form of surprise has caught you off guard and it could be in a very positive way uh, or this could be a situation wherein you heard from someone they told you something that you know um because the Eight of Wands is technically all about, you know, surprises and news. And then the Empress card can be, you know, talking about a woman or it could be an endeavor or something that um, is surrounding that. It could be also, you know, you had some form of positive um, happenings in the recent past, which is always a good thing. Um, over here, we have the Magician card and the Ten of Ten of Cups, right. So this is really more about you, you know, this could be an element wherein you are wanting something really, really good. Something that that feels good, basically. And at the same time, uh, it has a lot to do with some form of emotional fulfillment. So we are seeing here that there is confusion happening and there is also a, a lot of desires of emotional fulfillment in place there is also a possibility that there could be some form of manipulation happening uh surrounding this this energy not this is not really a negative reading so i'm just saying things in in a, both a positive or negative way so yeah not really manipulation, but you could be at the point of your life wherein there's something that you wanted to happen you wanted to manifest and you wanted to do everything that you can to actually attain it so <laughs> i think manipulation is a negative word that i have used so it can happen but it's not always the case uh it could be just a point wherein you are willing to take action because your desires and wishes for for whatever emotional fulfillment you have right now, you know, it really depends on what is your focus, uh, 
uh, during this time, is it a relationship? If it is a relationship or with a particular person, this could be a point in a situation where it, you wanted to do everything that you can to resolve or to get someone's attention, uh, no matter what it takes. So you are at the verge of that situation, basically, is what we are, we are really talking about. Over here, we are seeing with the near future event, we have here the Knight of Pentacles along with the Four of Pentacles. So this could be a situation wherein there could be some form of progress that might happen for you. You might see the result of whatever um, past actions that you have done and with the four of pentacles this is why i was mentioning about manipulation because the four of pentacles usually has a very selfish energy so again this could be you or someone that you are dealing with you know it could be that um because the way i'm seeing here is that uh whoever it is that you're dealing with they, it's not really more about logical actions or logical decisions. It's really more about the feeling. Like, you know, what I am passionate about, what I want to do right now. You know, it's all about what I want, what I want. It's not really about us. It's all about the, the individual itself. So if that is an issue for you, that is something that you might have to 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 deal with you know i'm also kind of feeling that you know this could be a situation wherein um a, an offer might come into your life or but you know you might hear some form of news and an offer might come but you're not exactly very open to the idea and that might cause some form of conflict especially this can really happen especially when it comes to family matters or um uh, business endeavor all at the same time as well over here we do have the queen of pentacles along with the page of swords so this is you know this is a really a point wherein maybe there is something that you know you are hesitating upon especially when you get the page of swords this is really more about hesitations and you know, you're feeling unsure about certain things. I feel that if you are at that state of mind, you need to follow your own intuition because, you know, your intuition is never going to steer you wrong. You know, it's like, uh, especially if you're a woman, but it works also when you're a man, but, you know, a woman's intuition can never be wrong or at the very least, it will lead you to the truth one way or another. Um, of course, there is a difference with uh, intuition and just being really arrogant and really proud of yourself to to push through what you what you really think, you know, like, uh, again, we mentioned that there is some form of confusion. So any major decisions right now is not really the best course of action. Um for you so you need to get information you need to observe and you should not really uh, jump into conclusions ahead of time because that might create conflict even though that it might sound really nice at one point you really need to take a look on the things that you're saying uh, the things that you are doing all at the same time over here we have the tower card and the hangman so this could be the influences that might occur in case you handle this um, um, thoughtlessly i would say this could be a situation wherein you might need to reflect like i mentioned you need to reflect and really think about things. And this could also be a situation wherein, you know, you might go overboard with how you deal with your relationships. Like maybe someone is getting really angry or maybe you're getting angry or you wanted to screw this relationship. I want out of this. You know, you ha you might have that tendency. So I just kind of feel that, you know, there's, you know, emotions that go this that's really going all over the place into this reading. So uh, whenever the hangman in the tower is involved, you know that you are at the face of reflection. You know, something is happening in the relationship. Something is unsure. But all at the same time, it could be that there is no action involved. There is nothing happening and that is frustrating you. That is one possibility. And all at the same time, there is a possibility wherein 
the things that are occurring in your life is something that you did not plan and you don't want how things are occurring you know someone is doing something that you don't like and that is causing a lot of friction in you and over here we have the page of pentacles and the ace of swords so you might be in a position wherein you might be you know there could be a solution that you are going to come up and you might be going to force to to do something about it so basically what we are seeing here overall is that there could be a sudden news that caught you off guard and you are going to find solutions to that and you are going to you know provide the information you know maybe you are going to smooth talk someone uh, for them to to do what you want or at the very least this is something that you feel is the right course of action and you want them to to go ahead and uh to get influence with what you want to occur you know basically something like that so you are going to be offering uh, some form of solution which might be actually a good thing um overall we are getting here the the devil card which is all about temptations and you know all of that stuff and we also have here the hierophant card so there is like major lessons that we are going to be experiencing at the very least for a lot of you gemini people real uh basically um the devil card in the hierophant card really tells us about boundary issues and relationships like if you are becoming very controlling which i feel that you know for some gemini people you uh that i'm picking up of course in this reading it may not be what you are of course i'm not saying that all gemini's are like that it's just that um, based upon the connection that I'm having with this reading, you could be in a situation wherein controlling issues might be involved. You might be the one who is very controlling or you might be dealing with someone who is quite controlling by nature. And, you know, there will be um, lessons that you guys need to face together or need to overcome uh, so that you guys can resolve whatever issues in in place right there there could be an eye-opening factor when it comes to your relationships with this person all at the same time so i'm not saying that things are going to be smooth this could just be uh like the tip of the iceberg i would say you know you might come to realize that hey this relationship is not exactly healthy as much as i thought or on a positive note this could be a situation wherein, you know, um, there could be frustration, yes. There could be something that's unsettling, yes. But this is a situation wherein you are going to try and do your best to resolve, do your best to, to put them in the right course of action. And ultimately, th this could lead to some form of fated uh, scenario, fated relationship maybe. It could be a very important relationship, you know. Uh, based upon your own efforts and initiation it really depends what your intuition is telling you right now and at this time i just kind of feel that you are at the point of your life wherein everything is go 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 <laughs> and uh, you know having that um, situation is actually very positive but all the same time it is uh it is a fact that you know having that kind of mindset can allow us to bump heads with 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 people in our life so um uh this is something that's you know basically what i'm saying here is that you need to take into consideration what you're saying the things that you're doing and have some form of empathy and sensitivity with the people around us you know especially if you are being too harsh being too coarse you know, being too uh, abrasive or something like that, you know, uh, there's a need for you to be more sensitive, especially we have here a lot of swords and then tower card. It gives me that feeling where in some form of communication seems quite harsh. And, you know, with the seven of cups over here and the star card at the beginning of the reading, it gives me a feeling we're in, you know, something that's unintentional, something that is, you know, can lead to some form of miscommunication can happen. 
So, and that might cause some form of friction into an important relationship. So it really depends on uh, the situation that you're going through right now. I just kind of feel that there could be some form of instability when it comes to relationships, especially this month. And this is going to open a pathway for you and a specific person to, you know, it's like you have a wall to overcome so that the two of you can have a stronger bond together. So don't, I don't see this as an end all be all kind of situation, but it's more of something, you know, like a new chapter, a new, a new path of your life that you need to overcome basically. So uh, yeah, just keep in mind all of those kinds of things. And now let's see what we have over here with the Lenormand. We have here the Clover and the Anchor, which is, you know, uh, this creates a, a topic for the stability of a relationship. You know, there could be an issue right there, like something suddenly happening, you know, that that actually, you know, removes the removes the harmony of the situations like something is being shaken up you might find out something you know it could be a secret of some kind or a path occurs for a relationship wherein maybe someone is uh, looking at the left someone is looking at the right you know it could be a situation wherein maybe you are you are dealing with someone or a particular relationship wherein you both are not exactly aligned or not seeing things in the same way as you did in the past. So, and that can create, of course, problems in the relationship when we have the mountain. Uh, the mountain is all about obstacles and problems and the dog card is all about our companionship, you know, and the loyalty of a relationship loyalty, uh, friendship, uh, or a relationship, the bond that you have with a specific person. So it can be something to do with a friend, or it could be something to do with the relationship itself that, uh, you know, whatever it is that you find out, uh, you know, something that has been very stable for quite some time, there is some form of sudden happening, sudden news that might occur right there, like we mentioned earlier. And this can lead you to two path or you know decision making or you might find out you know an existing situation that can be problematic this can create some form of frictions in the relationship and as we have over here you know uh, the foundation of their relationship can be uh, very shaky. We have the whip card, which is another argument kind of card. So arguments and problems can occur in the relationship. However, I feel that this could be also a situation that can allow some form of growth to actually happen once all of this has, has been overcome all at the same time. So... Uh, this is really more about learning to cope up with the emotions that you might be feeling throughout the process. And um, yeah, some form of irritations and feeling trapped or feeling like, uh, I don't know what to do with this situation. Those kinds of things might really come up. Um, so this is going to be uh, a job by two people to work through things so that a decision can be met basically uh, and there will be growth in the relationship overall so um yeah this is a very progressive reading and i'm not saying that everything is going to be very very good very very happy but um this will allow you to to attain greater heights in the relationship that uh, you have with this specific person so um yeah this is my reading for you gemini people out there i do hope that this has given you some form of insight and clarity into your situation i mean i'm not saying that this is really going to be happening to all gemini people out there but for some people who are tuning into my reading this might be something that could occur for you and i hope that the advice over here can help you make decisions or to help you get your head um you know uh calm down before making drastic stuff into your relationships 
Um, so uh, yeah, if you do want a more personal reading specifically done for your own situation, you can do that by booking a session with me through my website in the stars by Chrissy.com. And I shall see you guys again next year. Goodbye. Sorry, not next year, next month. <laughs> Goodbye.